Are you guys gonna walk in the door or anything? Or? Nah. Oh, we're not we're, we're too good to walk in the door now. Okay. We've got that's her. That's old. I was doing really well with my diet. I lost some weight, and then Saturday night we went out for Indian, and I kind of went off the wagon for a little bit. Back on the wagon and um, doing fine. <laughs> so it's Monday, the 22nd of January. Obviously by now you're driving, you're you're in the middle of prototyping your FRC robot components, sub-assemblies. Pay attention to some of these things that are out there. I, I guess the first and foremost, check out Spectrum's blog, Team 3847. They're doing a really good job of highlighting their process and all of the things they're thinking of. They, they don't keep any secrets on Spectrum, so it's impressive to show everybody what's going on. So thank you guys at Spectrum 3847. John Vinoon from Team 148, he's got a pretty, pretty good blog here with lessons learned and, and past, but they, they are keeping some things secret. Don't blame them, but it's a little bit different to see it from their perspective versus 3847. This is probably what most, most teams who blog do blank out some things that they don't want other teams to see. The team I'm on, our kids are kind of excited because we've got 2,600 views on our Instagram post of our um, intake that we've been prototyping. So, Okay, this is a compliant wheel. We put two of these in everybody's kit, and this is a pretty wimpy, um, very pliable, very very ductile, very low durometer compliant wheel. The, all of our greens are around 35A durometer. It's made out of TPU, which is thermoplastic urethane. We have lots of different types. We've got two inch green, uh, blue, and maroon. The blue ones are the, the hardest. They're at 50 durometer. The maroons, I think, are 40, 45 durometer. And uh, these are the softest. We have a four inch version of the same colors, but we also have a, have a black that's a 60 durometer. All of these have different bores. This is a half inch bore. That's actually a half inch bore, but it's undersized, so it stretches over a half inch shaft. We also have 3 8 hex. We have an eight millimeter bore with holes around it to fit the FTC hubs for FTC. So we got lots of compliant wheels. I think we have like 16 different types on the shelf. So if we don't have one in stock that's exactly right for you, well, first of all, we probably will get it back in stock very soon. Check our website for availability. But if, if you can't find it, maybe change your hex size, get your design to fit to that wheel size. These aren't the most robust wheels. They will wear down and, and they will delaminate a little bit. They're less durable than our, our red silicone wheel from last year that were water jet cut. Those are more like the, our heavier duty um, maroon or blue wheels. This wheel is by itself can't handle a lot of load. You might have to stack them up. You might have to vary your compression. We've got a cube that weighs three and a half pounds that is different than a fuel ball. So it's not apples and apples here. It's a little bit different of a, of a roller. We saw some threads on Chief Delphi talking about these and how they work right for certain people's applications. So they might not be the end all be all wheel for your design. Maybe add some wheels, maybe change the durometer, maybe um, not load it down. So just keep working with them. You'll fine tune it so that you can make your application work. I know there's solutions out there. It's just might not be the first one you try. So keep at it. If you have any questions, give us a call. We're always answering phone calls all day long and we're very familiar with our wheels. We'll help you out. Coloring contest update. We had a really good coloring contest this last week. Matt Pilot was our subject, engineering manager at first, and we actually threw it over to first to have them judge this week because they were involved. And we had a lot of really, really good entries. There was a lot of there was a lot of heated competition for this week's coloring contest. But fittingly, we had Matt choose the the deciding vote here on the winner. This one wins, and it's our it's our good friends on um, Team One Twenty Eight out of Ohio. So Sue Godez and her class, uh, you guys are winners with your Woody Flowers interpretation of Matt Pilot and the coloring contest. That's quite impressive. They've got his ponytail, he got his glasses, even the shirt, they've made a denim shirt and they've had all Team 128 sign the shirt. Maybe we can maybe we can take this to one of the events Woody is at and get Woody to sign this. That would be pretty cool. Thank you, um, 128. Have a great season and uh, we'll look for you guys out on the road. They've been watching Lunch with Andy ever since we started, so it's kind of a cool thing. Now this picture is a famous video from Steamworks from last year's game. 
and it includes our friend Derek Foster depressing the um, the climbing target. Is that what the what touch was pad. The, the touch pad actuator thingy? And he seems very happy. Have at it, guys. Go for it. We'll look forward to seeing your entries with with Derek and his um, touching the pad. With that note, I will see you later. We'll meet again on Wednesday when we have pizza lunch here at Andy Mark. Have a good week.